Welcome friends, in this video tutorial we will demonstrate one typical problem related to the projections of solids. As you see on your screen, it is a problem from exercise A on uh, in the chapter of uh, projections of solids. The solid given is regular tetrahedron. So what do you mean by tetrahedron? Tetrahedron basically looks like a pyramid. So it will have all faces equal. In a typical pyramid, the base generally was a different uh, plane, whereas the other faces, they were all uh, similar. But in the case of tetrahedron, even the base will be similar to the slant faces. So here, we have uh, three slant faces and one base. So all will be triangles. Uh, the triangle at the base so that will have the true shape in the top view if the position if it is resting on that base so let us uh, first draw an initial position in which the uh, base is visible as a true shape so for that we use the polygon command let us go here just to see how we go about it. Three edges with edge option. Let's say from here we draw the top view. Here the slant faces are not visible yet, so we know the slant faces will start from here. Let us uh, remove the F8 the ortho up to the midpoint so we are basically locating the centroid of this triangle for that we start from the corner and go up to the mid of the opposite side so up to the mid of the opposite side so this way we get this location of the apex of the location of the apex of the solid. So now we trim all the construction lines. We retain only whatever is visible from the top view. The top view will be visible like this if it is resting on the base on the ground. Now about the front view. In the front view we need the height of the solid. But here as all the faces are uh, of a similar shape so that uh, height of the solid is not needed or rather the edge equal to 100 mm so that information is sufficient to draw the height of the solid so how we do that so for that we will exploit the concept of lines you note that this particular edge is horizontal or is parallel to x y line in top view so its front view will be true length so just see how we exploit this information we start from this point press f8 for perpendicular line go up to this point again from this point we drop the perpendicular on this line, within this line, we have to locate the true length. How to do that? We draw an arc with center point method and center located here. And it's a starting point from one auto carry unit that means 100 mm. So from here, ortho we can switch off, and this way we can plot the arc. For this arc, center was here center was the intersection of these lines and its length is 100 mm or 1 out to get in right now we have the front view of the slant edge now the other slant edges so they are directly available from this point 
up to the end here. Now we remove all the construction lines. And we have the solid in initial position which is not the final position. Why we drew initial position? Because we had to, we had otherwise no way to initially draw the solid. So, this is the initial position. Now, the final position is, it is resting with the edge on ground. Here, the whole of the base is on the ground. This whole base is on the ground. Okay, so only edge it has to rest. That means, if we tilt around this particular edge, where the cursor is or this particular point then the condition will be satisfied. So, for that I will copy this object first from this point we move it here and then we will rotate it. By how much angle? So, by the angle so that it becomes vertical. For that we will need to measure the angle. So, we will use Trim command, angular method, and switch off the snap for easy selection and to measure the angle between this one and this one. It is 19 degree angle. We have to make we have to make this edge vertical. At, at present, it is 19 degree with the vertical. What we do? We rotate this whole figure with this as the this point and by how much angle minus 19 because the rotation has to be in the clockwise direction and the angle is measured in anti clockwise direction that is typically how we should move it and we complete its base also this way so this way we want to rotate so that the face the triangular face this particular triangular face becomes vertical now, what happens with the apparent shape in the top view? You see, uh, for that, so basically, from this point, we draw the perpendicular and we get this position. And uh, on the other side, we have, we have, uh, we do not have a change. We remove this one and up to the end here and up to this one, up to this one. So we complete it. Please note we uh, basic otherwise have to draw the horizontals from here, verticals from here, all points, and then we will be able to get it. But with experience, you can understand easily that uh, the dotted line, the dots here, they can also guide our position. Now, this particular triangular face, it becomes vertical. So, from the top view, it will not be visible at all and only thing is this will extend up to the end and uh, this way our final position is completed and we remove the construction lines. So, this is how we finish with the problem related to the solid when we have a tetrahedron. And uh, it is a typical problem, similar problems. It will also help you to solve different other similar problems. So, thank you very much.